أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته And welcome back to Living the Quran through the Living Quran. In this series, we've been reviewing chapter number 53, Surah Al-Najm, the chapter of the star. And in this discussion, we're looking at part number 9 of the theme of the paths. And we've been reviewing verses 29 and 30. Now, if you were with us in our last discussion, we referred to the fact, and we looked at the commentary of Sheikh Karaati, and we uh, ended where we were trying to understand better the life of this transient world. And as we mentioned that uh, we wanted to look at at least seven of the descriptions that God has given to us of the life of this world. And so obviously to better understand this life that we lead and the true nature of this world, not obviously the material, but the uh, metaphysical nature of the world that we live in. Let us review these seven passages from the Quran. Point number one is that this transient world is trivial and irrelevant. God says in the Quran, and this is found in chapter number four, Surah An-Nisa, verse number 77, where he says, Mata'u dunya qalil, that the provision of this world is short. This is a very short time that we live, 50, 60, 70, maybe a hundred years at most, compared to the world to come, which is infinite. God is definitely correct that the world of this, the life of this world is trivial and irrelevant in the big picture of things. In chapter number 16, which is Surah Nahal, verse number 96, God presents us with a second point of reflection in the relation to this transient world in which he tells us the transient world will perish and is a place to pass through and not to stay. And he says, ما عندكم ينفد that what is with you of the transient world passes away. And this is a reality that our lives, the wealth, everything of this world is temporary. It doesn't last forever. It is, as God says, it's a place to pass through and it's not a place to build and to get too comfortable in because we will be going on a journey after the life of this very short world. The third point that God mentions in the Quran about this world is that an attachment to the transient world is nothing more than an exercise in vain and futile activity. And this is found in chapter number 29, Surah Al-Ankabut, verse number 64. In this verse, God says, وَمَا هَذِهِ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا لَهُونْ وَلَعِبْ And the life of the world is nothing but a sport and a play. Again, he's showing us that this life is a vain and futile activity, like people who play sports, uh, whether at a professional level or an amateur or just for fun. It's an exercise in vain and futile and futility. There's no benefit, no outcome at the end. Of course, it keeps somebody in shape and might engage camaraderie amongst the brethren. Uh, but other than that, there is no positive outcome to games or sports in, 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 in the great grand scheme of things. The fourth aspect of this transient world, which is seen in Surah number 57, Al-Hadid, verse number 20, is that this transient world is merely a means of distraction. And so God says, and this world's life is nothing but a means of deception. A deception and a detraction and a distraction from God, from religion, from the reality of the world to come. The fifth understanding of this temporal world comes to us again in the Quran, in chapter number 9, Surah Al-Tawbah, verse number 38. In this verse, God says, أَرَذِيتُمْ بِالْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا مِنَ الْآخِرَةِ He's talking about the attachment to this transient world, and this prevents us from seeking the world to come. He says, are you contented with the, this world's life instead of the hereafter? Posing this rhetorical question to us that are we happy with what we have here when there is something much better than, uh, you know, that will come in the future than what we have right now? The sixth example or the sixth understanding of this temporal world is found in Surah Al-Qasas, chapter 28, verse number 79. And in this verse, God says 
that this world, this transient world, is a place of enchantment. And the verse says, Ya laita lana mithla ma utiya Qarun. Oh, would that we had the like of what Qarun is given. Meaning that people look around them at what others have and they wish that they had the same. This is not just a 21st century phenomenon of keeping up with the Joneses, as the saying goes. This is actually a Quranic um, example of what people think, not just today, but even thousands of years ago. And the seventh and the final example of the Quran, of the life of this temporal transient world, is found in Surah Al-Hadid, verse, chapter number 57, in verse number 20. It's a lengthy verse, however, in the portion which we want to quote, we see that there are five characteristics of the transient world which have been mentioned. And actually, these five uh, characteristics of the world fit with five stages of the life of the human being. And so in this verse, the portion which we want to reflect upon reads, اعلموا أنما الحياة الدنيا لعب ولحو وزينة وتفاخر بينكم وتكاثر في الأموال والأولاد Know and understand that this life, that the life of this world is only a sport and play and a temporary attraction, and boasting among yourselves, and a rivalry in the multiplication multiplication of wealth and children. And so we see that the stages are as follows, that the stage of infancy is one of sport. As children, as the infants become a bit older, they come into the into that, that age bracket of being considered as a child. It changes from sport into play, so a bit more of a competitive nature. The third level is uh, when is one is a young adult, and that is, as God calls it, a temporary attraction. And when we get into our middle ages, it changes from a temporary attraction to a period of boasting amongst ourselves. And finally, in the fifth, is the old age. And when we become old, it becomes a rivalry in the multiplication of wealth and children. And of course, we indeed, the transient world, we understand that indeed the transient world is a means and not a goal. And we read this in the famous supplication, which is read in the month of Sha'aban, in which we read and we ask God, we say, وَلَا تَجْعَلِ الدُّنْيَا أَكْبَرُ hammina." Do not make this transient world our greatest concern. Now let us conclude with a few takeaway messages from this very powerful and potent section of Surah Al-Najm. The first point to keep in mind that we can gleam from these verses is that distancing ourselves from the enemies of Islam, what is called tabarri or tabarra, that this is a principle of the faith of Islam. We cannot, should not, and must not love everyone. We have to have a love-hate relationship. We love God and those who love God, but we have to distance ourselves from the enemies of God. And that is clear as a religious mandate, one of the principles of our religion. Point number two as a takeaway message is that we must not waste the time and opportunity in the propagation of religion in areas where we know there is no benefit. You know, sometimes we know that if we speak to someone or give them some information, it would benefit them. But there are times and people where they are as hard as stone and they will not change and they don't want to listen to religion and the words of the Creator. And so, as we see in this passage, that we should not waste our time in those areas where we know we will make no benefit. And last but not least, is that turning away from God and making this transient world the focal point of one's life, that this is a clear indication of a person's deviation. We've seen these multiple verses, and there is many more in the Quran, which show us that when a person solely focuses on the transient world and on the material aspects and they turn away from God and the remembrance of God that they have become deviant, they have deviated from the right course. And so we have to keep in mind that if we make this transient world our goal, that this becomes all of the all of our efforts are focused on this world that we have actually uh, deviated from the path that God expects for humanity to follow. Wassalamu alaikum. ورحمة الله وبركاته